it, it's been a while since you've, you've had a comeback of this nature, you know, down leading the team, the length of the field in a minute. Uh, just what did it feel like to get back on, on that horse? Uh, great. Close week one, didn't make it happen, and uh, had another opportunity this week, and uh, was glad to get it done for the guys. I mean, unbelievable plays all around made by our team. Um, great plays on defense, shoot, letting them score. I mean, I, I had my helmet on thinking the game was probably going to be over. Um, they let them score, gave us a chance. That's all we needed. So uh, proud of those guys for making that play. Um, some huge plays in that two-minute drive or one-minute drive, whatever it was. And uh, obviously Prater having to make the longest extra point ever, I feel like, uh, was great as well. I think I need to refresh myself on the, the current runoff rules, but just curious, did you have a, a flashback at all there when there was a, a review of, of Kenny's catch there? In the I mean, same game? team, right? I'm sitting there just going, are you kidding me? Um, didn't know what was going on. When I, when I snapped the ball to spike it um, the first time, carry-on was like sliding behind me. I had no idea what was going on. Uh, I thought right there, I was like, oh, we apparently fell down or something. I don't know what happened. 10 second runoff, game over. All sorts of craziness ensued. Um, was just happy that they gave us, you know, rightfully so, one more chance. We spiked it and then uh, dialed something up that worked and, and was able to buy a little extra time and, and shoot one to Hawk for a touchdown. Tim? Hey, Matthew, congratulations on the win. Can you just take me through that last play, what you saw and, and how you kind of got back down to, to, to Hawkinson for the score there? Yeah, I mean, we're sending uh, pretty much everybody into the end zone. Um, Hawk did a great job of working the front end line. Um, sometimes I can hit that ball kind of right out of break as Hawk goes in there, but uh, 45 did a nice job of kind of just squatting on the front end line. Um, so I had to buy a little bit of time, and then Hawk just kept working the front end line and uh, got lost and uh, was able to shoot it to him, and, and uh, he made a nice catch for a touchdown. And then just a quick follow-up, too, just the trust that you have in, in a guy like Kenny Galladay to make plays for you in the last minute of a game, really all game. But uh, you guys seem to be building a pretty nice chemistry. Whenever he's one-on-one, -on -one, you, you don't seem to uh, mind throwing it up to him and giving him an opportunity to make a play. Yeah, I thought he made some huge catches for us. Um, a couple I didn't get to see, you know, throw them and, and uh, you know, a bunch of guys in front of me or whatever it is, and, and uh, you know, we're moving the sticks. Um, had some huge third-down catches for us. Um, was a big catch in the first drive of the second half, or I'm sorry, the uh, the two-minute drive before the half to get us three points, had a big catch there. I thought Marv played great. Danny played good. I mean, we had guys, I don't know, I feel, I feel like everybody had 50 yards at least. You know, I mean, everybody was involved. Yeah, and uh, it was, you know, still still some plays out there I wish we could have back, but um, from a pass game standpoint, felt, you know, felt really good. Thanks, Matthew. Congrats. Thanks. Ross team. Hey, Matthew, a couple of things and congratulations. First is – that the last play can you just walk me through how you actually buy time like is it a sense is it a feel is it i can't walk you through it it just happens um you know what i mean it's just one of those things it's it's different buying time every play um sometimes you're able to and sometimes you're not and um i was able to a lot this game because our offensive line was staying sticky um that was a, a defensive front that was playing hard um, they were sending a bunch of pressures, a bunch of unscouted looks, to be honest with you. Some stuff that we didn't, hadn't seen on tape that they, they threw at us. And uh, our guys did a really nice job of adjusting, just playing physical and playing hard and, and locking on blocks. Without those guys doing that, there's nowhere for me to go. So uh, those guys finishing blocks, pushing, pushing guys out of lanes, um, you know, gives me space to move around back there. And, and I was able to do it a couple times. What, and what's your level of confidence at this point when you throw up a 50-50 ball or – whatever percentage it might be to Kenny because obviously you played before Kenny you played with another guy that you would do that a lot with yeah and just kind of get your gauge on where that might be at this point um you know I just I try to put a good ball out there and he's made some great catches um the one down the sideline um you know going up and getting hit by the safety was a huge play um on the third down and long uh obviously caught a quick little fade there uh on you know down the down our sideline again going the other way and then the big play at the end of the game. Um, they were not going to let us get over their head, so I had to get it over the wheel linebacker who was probably 30 yards deep and underneath the safety who was like 50 yards deep. And, uh, you know, Kenny was feeling the same thing I was feeling because I had to cut that ball loose a lot, a lot sooner than I wanted to. And it really just – I can't hold it forever. And uh, just tried to throw it into a good spot. And he was on the same page as I was, been in front of the safety. And when he did, he made a great catch. Is your confidence level with him starting to get close to what it was with Cal? 
Uh, I don't know. I don't, I don't pay attention to that kind of stuff. I don't think about that. Um, I'm confident in all the guys on our team, and he's making plays right now. You know, he's doing a great job of when the ball's in the air, um, he's ending up with the majority of them, and that's, that's huge for me. That's huge for our team. Um, it's, it just brings juice to everybody. Appreciate it, Matthew. Jennifer? Hi, sorry, I thought Burkett was coming next. Um, Matthew, I know that you've often said you want the opportunity to have the ball in your hands with the game on the line and to go down there and, and get the game-winning touchdown. Does that change, I guess, as you think about it, as later in your career and maybe where you guys are now with the frustration of the losing the season? How, how important was that today for you to have that opportunity and for it to actually come through and you guys to win the game like that? I mean, it was huge. Um, it's, it just goes back to, you know, I mean, I, I would have I would have had way less fun, obviously, if they would have taken a knee and, and kicked a chip shot field goal and I had no chance to touch the ball, you know, no chance to get the ball back. Um, all you ask for on offense is a chance. Um, we had a minute and whatever it was and, and then uh, lost some time when Hawk wasn't able to get out of bounds on the one. So, I mean, we were up against the clock as good as you can be. And uh, guys made plays. That's – I love doing that. I mean, that's that's my – Favorite part about playing the game. I love, I love this game. I love competing, and, and uh, there's no more competitive, pressure-packed situation than, you know, whatever it was, first and goal from the nine-yard line with no time left. I mean, uh, that's what you live for as a, as a quarterback. Thank Hello. you very much. Hey, Matt. Um, all of my questions were uh, asked already, so I'll just uh, – I, I was asked this. I, I noticed that you, know, you threw the 11-yard touchdown pass to TJ at the end of the game. You ran down the field so fast, you were actually the first guy to TJ after the, the winning pass. What was that celebration like? Did you exchange words? What was, what well, was I was that? just fired up. We were probably just screaming inaudible things at each other. Um, but uh, then I saw Danny quickly after that and uh, was trying to tell Danny to put his helmet back on. Um, but he was going bananas and wasn't going to listen to anything I said. <laughs> so we'll, uh, we'll learn from that one. Um, we'll learn to count better and realize that we still needed to make the extra point to win the game. So uh, we'll make it easier on Prater next time. Yeah, I don't know if you saw it either, but Prater was like the first guy up the tunnel when after the PAT and there was a flag on the field. I mean, maybe he knew where it was going to go. But <laughs> yeah, I, I saw the flag too and was not, yeah. uh, not happy slash a little scared on what it was. And then I saw this motion. Yeah. From the and it was the legal formation. I'm like, how did we get it? And then it was on them, and I was, yeah, exactly. I was all happy again. Yeah. Uh, last thing, uh, does this mean that Matt Ryan owes you dinner? Uh, no official, no official wager was made, but uh, I mean, I'll bring it up. I'll bring it up. Thank you, Matt. All right, last one for Chris Burke. Hey, Matt. Congratulations. Um, I asked Coach Patricia the same thing here. He didn't go into too many details, but you guys obviously still work the middle of the field quite a bit on that last drive just sort of wondering where your comfort level is when you're watching the clock uh, you know at what point you have to kind of just force things more to the outside than you did there yeah obviously um you know defense understands the situation too you know um they were going to give us some chances down the middle of the field to get some chunks it's things that we work on all the time plays that we uh we know can get us big yardage if we need it um and i mean Danny had a great catch over the middle. I mean, skying up to go get that one. Um, and then obviously Kenny was, was down the middle as well. But uh, they were going to play, you know, sideline-ish defense and, and make us, uh, you know, try to chip away at it. We obviously make the big play to Kenny that gives us the chance, really. Um, if we don't make that play, then, uh, you know, we're probably throwing a couple Hail Marys from the 50 or something. So uh, that was a huge play for us. Um, but, yeah, I mean, it's all – it's all in there. I'm, I'm looking at the clock the whole time, trying to figure out how many plays left and, and how many yards we need and um, doing all that. So I'm just glad it worked out. Appreciate it. All right. Thanks, Matthew. Thanks, guys.